Hello friends, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel if you're enjoying the instruction that I'm giving you. So today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to be doing what is in my violin case. So this is my case. It is a BAM case. There used to be a little BAM thing right here, but it literally fell off within like a day of me getting this case. I've had this since I believe it was 2016, um, maybe 2015, since I was in college at UT. And one of the things I thought was really cool about it was that it's orange, and orange is like one of is UT's color. So we have the orange on the handle there. And then if I stand it up, you can see that the backpack straps are orange. Obviously, there is some wear and tear on it. I have those little spots right there actually this one happened like really soon after i got it too oh my goodness um but i really like this case it's really really lightweight obviously there's scratches on the front <laughs> too i'm actually not sure like what this case is called but i know that i had like the bam lotus case before this and it broke like it had straps on it and like one of the screws of like this thing like came undone and like they said they wouldn't fix it which was ridiculous so to open it i have these like little combination locks and all you have to do is that and then open it and that is what it looks like. So we have the BAM logo right there. Take out my bow. BAM logo. We have four bow holders. It came with this, um, this string case. This is my violin, obviously. I have this cleaning cloth from Char. Probably needs to be washed, but that's fine. This is like a microfiber cloth. I think they used to give them out to you, like, um, <laughs> just for free with your orders, but not sure. Then I have this beautiful silk scarf wrapped around my violin. I got this in high school. I remember it was like all the rage to have a silk scarf covering your instrument, so. That's why I got it. I'm gonna show you guys how I tie the scarf around my instrument too. And basically it has to be silk because that will keep like the dirt and stuff off of it. So here's how I wrap the violin. Basically make it kind of like a diamond shape. And then I turn my violin, turn my violin sideways. Then I take this top part and wrap it over. Just kind of like that. And I take these two bottom parts and twist. That's what it looks like with no violin in it. And then it has this Velcro thing for my shoulder rest. Yes, I do have ponytail holders on my shoulder rest because this foam thing is literally not even attached anymore. But I love this shoulder rest. And I don't even think they make this kind anymore. So we gonna use it till it breaks, fam. <laughs> So that's what the case looks like when it's empty. Now let's dive into my little pocket area right there. First of all, I have my metronome. This is a Korg, I guess. Can't even read that anymore. Something 40, TM40 maybe. I've literally lost the battery cover right here. I've had this for so long, I cannot remember how long, and I've dropped it so many times and it still works. So thank goodness. I have my rosin. This is the kind of rosin that I use. And it's super cheap too. I think on chart it's like $8 or something. And then I have a ton of strings. <laughs> all Peter Infeld. I think all of these are new. Which is nice. So I have a I have a larceny. Oh yeah. A brasho e. These are Peter Infeld, it just doesn't have the um Thing. So yeah, when I was looking in here, I was like, wow, I have more strings than I thought I did. I completely forgot about this. This is a note that I received when I was in college, and I guess I played for something. 
You don't know me, but I wanted to thank you for the chance to listen to you in mass, listen to you in master class. Thanks for going for such a difficult piece. I was playing Tchaikovsky. It was incredibly inspiring to hear you perform such a technical piece and work to refine it. Thank you. So that was so sweet. This is from Michael Shee. Hmm. Memories. Next, we have more rosin. This is actually um, like cracked. <laughs> then I have these candies. My friend Marion actually gave these to me for my birthday one year, and I just haven't eaten them, and they're still in my case. So, yeah. Then I have some pencils. Two mechanical pencils and one regular pencil. Then I have some mutes. These are the mutes that I have. This is just like a regular one. This one is Bejeweled. I got this one in high school and it was like all the rage, I remember. And some of the jewels have fallen off, but I love that mute. And then I have a practice mute as well. I have some chapstick. This is peg dope, or I guess peg compound is like its official name. Basically, you put this on your pegs when they're stuck. So it kind of looks like that. It's super cheap on char, so if you have trouble with your pegs, then definitely get that. Finally, finally I have this. I remember getting this in like middle school for some orchestra thing that we did. And I've just kept it. So I hope you found that cool, fun, interesting. Um, I know cases are very personal. So I'd love to see or hear what's in your violin case or what kind of case you have. I do really like the BAM cases. They are a bit expensive, but in my opinion, so worth it. This has lasted me so many years and I really like just how light it is. Plus it, it looks kind of cool, just saying. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.